Hey, what's up? This is Mike Locke with ML Web Consulting. Thanks for checking out this video. Uh, in this tutorial, I am going to walk you through how to create a cool button in Adobe Fireworks. And basically, what you see on the page here, I have a few buttons. And I was inspired by another website. If you're like me, you're a designer, you browse a lot of websites throughout the day. And you might be inspired by a particular button or a design and you might want to recreate that so I actually visited this website called crop.com and I noticed they have these buttons here in their navigation bar which is really cool and I thought man that's a really clean design it has that Apple Apple look to it you know sort of rounded silver and I'm like you know what? I want to create that I want to use that for um, use this style of button for an up-and-coming site that I'm, I'm creating and um, as you see here, I'm using the button for my submit button on a contact page that I've just recently created. So, okay, so here's the button that we're going to use as a reference, and I'm going to show you how to recreate that. Um, so let's get started. The, the first thing you want to do is grab your rectangle tool over here in the vector section. Just simply draw out a long rectangle. And with your mouse down, still holding your mouse down don't release it you push your up arrow and what that does it rounds the corners on your rectangle so you see there you can push up and down while your pointer is still while you're holding it down you do up and down on your keyboard the up arrow up and down arrows on your keyboard and it changes the rounded corners on your shape here okay so what you want to do is push your up arrow till it gets to this hot dog look it's a long hot dog and uh, basically you want to have that shape, you want to have a long rounded rectangle shape okay so with that selected you want to go by your little paint filter here and you want to select gradient linear okay so select your object and you want to make sure your gradient goes from white to a dark gray and what I'm using the hex value here is 333333 okay so there you have your button and what you're going to do is grab your rectangle tool and we're going to recreate the same shape but you're going to make it a little larger okay and so you created a larger one and what this is it's going to be used as a drop shadow this little dropped rounded corner effect that you see on the button up at the top here with this object selected you want to change turn the opacity down to 30 Okay, and then send it to the back so it's in the background. Okay, and you just want to position it there like that. So with and then select your first object and you want to give it a drop shadow. So you select this little filters plus sign here, drop uh, shadows glow drop shadow, and you want to go like a number three, three here four and 80 that's that's about nice so I just want to make this the backdrop a little larger than my button okay so it looks sort of like this okay so next you want to go and grab your grab your text and just start typing in what you want your button to say so I'm gonna write free trial offer and I like using Helvetica or Arial font it's a strong clean font so and the, the color you want your font to be you want it to be a dark gray so I'm using I believe uh, 373737 as the hex value and uh, so that's pretty good okay so now with your text there, you want to give your text a drop shadow. You want to you want to give it the appearance as if it's um, I guess engraved in this silver button, okay? And so you want to give it a white drop shadow. So you go to shadows, drop shadow, and you want to go you want to go two here. You want to turn this to white. You want two on the distance. You want to go. I believe one on the softness and 100% on the opacity. 
Okay, so there you have it. it. Looks as if you know it has the appearance as if it's engraved in, and the white, the white portion there, the white drop shadow, is acts as if as a highlight of the engraved text. Pretty cool effect there. So there you have it. That's your button. That's pretty much it at this point. Um, oh, one one important thing is for your select your 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 button, and you want to make sure that you don't want it to be too dark at the bottom. You want it to be white to a, a nice gray, but you still want this nice sharp. You want to see the sharp line there. You don't want it to fade out into into a, a, a sort of fuzzy fuzzy look and feel you want it to end in a sharp line and you can see the dark dark sh dark shadow below it so that's pretty much your button there and what you can see with this button what we've created is a neutral button that's pretty much that pretty much goes against any background so it doesn't matter what color your background um, or the background is of your website or the portion of your site that you want to use this button on this button pretty much uh, can be used for any website and any color so that's the cool part about it so there you have it um, that's pretty much it your button is good to go at this point and uh, uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you have any questions shoot me an email mlock at mlwebco.com and uh, look out for more videos to come alright we'll talk soon bye bye